suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure. The lungs, yes. Yeah, I have just completely stopped watching uh, mainstream. Um, a, pick, a tip I picked up from. Uh, I'm just recalibrating. Just recalibrate. Just re constantly come back to the practice. Come back to receivership. Come back to what it is that you're working on. Come back to where the trigger is. All the work that we've done in the last 10 weeks, it's just all of that. Pick and choose. Do whichever one you want. Keep your body clean. Keep your mind healthy. Breath work, breath work, breath work, recalibrating, recalibrating, recalibrating. You know, like, but I know that now it's a blind spot. So when I'm making my decisions about whether or not this is a good idea, I know that the gambler in me is just always going to jump off a cliff and hope to be saved. It's not a very good idea when you're making a business decision. So I've got to look at that shadow aspect of my gambler and say to myself, right, okay, so I know that you really like taking risks, gambler, and I'm with you on that, but maybe I just need to lean on, you know, the side of caution a little bit. Maybe I need to consult with someone who's got, you know, some knowledge about this topic or whatever. I'm giving you a one and a half hour lecture mm -hmm. on something that takes people years to yeah. study i think as well when i see it in black and white like i mm -hmm. probably go oh tick 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 yeah that. we've got to learn how to use our intuition when it comes to an archetypal profile okay now this is going to seem really odd but when you have a conversation with someone and you're sensing them and feeling them whether you're physically with them or not you will start to be able to sense the archetypal pattern that resides within them. Forward and feel how this deepens the twist. Release the twist, extend your legs, flex through the feet. Draw the right foot to the outside edge of your left knee. Lift your left arm up to the sky, straighten and elongate through that spine, hook the left elbow to the outer edge of your right knee and twist to the right. Good, both arms lift up to the sky as you breathe in, palms facing one another, hold the breath. Breathing out, fold gently, so you're going to drape your body over your bent legs like such. Hold. I wish I had a template that I could be like, do this and then do that and then go here, touch that rock, put that water on your face, count to, count to three, five times and everything will be better. No. All right, guys, what have we got here? Mic drop moments. Yeah. Super mic drop moments. The, the beat, the interbeat, but there's also hormonal pulses that are going on which are also going to have a certain amount of information. So if you're stressed, the stress hormone is going to be pumped out and that's also going to be encoded as part of this field, this of information. You read me? If you're loved up where you are thinking, I shoulda, I shoulda, I shoulda. Like, what are you making that mean? Mm -hmm. I'm running behind. I'm not smart enough. I'm, um, I'm wasting time. I finish that sentence. And I want us to start thinking from an Eastern perspective. Um, because now we know that each chakra from a Western perspective was developed in two year slots. And that correlates with is called the karate chop point, which is the little point just between the base knuckle and the palm. So you're just tapping in there, karate chop, right? And so I just tap into the karate chop. If I'm at a, a 
point in my life where I actually can't do this whole thing and I'm feeling anxious if I'm on a bus or um, you know I'm walking or I'm having a conversation with someone and I don't want it to be obvious I just tap center very and that's called the pelvic plexus you see that little guy there so this is the coccygeal plexus it's also known as that but here's the sacral plexus um, which is the pelvic plexus and it contains a nerve supply to the uh, pelvis. Uh, 